Tech Freshman. This is the day six notes. Uh, for those who were all virtual, these are from uh, Tuesday, okay? All right, so <clears throat> we were gonna talk for the next few days about the Vietnam War. Now, the background is, this is Vietnam. Uh, it was part of an area called French Indochina with Cambodia and Laos uh, from 1883 until World War II. And then the Japanese came in, they invaded French Indochina in 1940 and they took it over. Now, when the Japanese were defeated and left in 1945, the French came back, but this time the Vietnamese said, uh, we don't want you here. So the fighting will pick up uh, in 1946, and um, Pre President Truman uh, kind of has a dilemma. He obviously supports uh, a nation's right to choose uh, their leadership, but uh, <laughs> the leader of North Vietnam, of the northern part, of Indochina is Ho Chi Minh, and he has said that he is communist. So uh, does he support the, the you know, communist bid for independence by Ho Chi Minh, or does he support the French? He decided to support the French, okay? Now, when he leaves office in 1952, uh, the war has taken a big turn. Now, the southern part is still largely controlled by the French, but it's where all, it's the northern uh, part of Vietnam where all the fighting is taking place. And uh, the French will finally be defeated in 1954 uh, at Dien Bien Phu. And the battle was a total disaster. They had airdropped into this valley and um, <clears throat> they were basically surrounded. And it took them months to be defeated. But uh, when it was over, the French were done. They will evacuate their forces and they will surrender uh, control over Vietnam. Now, the problem is, is that Ho Chi Minh wants the entire uh, you know, territory. He wants both north and south, but they decided in Geneva in 1955 to divide Vietnam in half. The north would be communist, led by Ho Chi Minh, and the south would be democratic, led by a new leader, No Dinh Diem. You don't say the G, it's No Dinh Diem. Now, Ho Chi Minh was not happy. He felt that the whole nation should have been Vietnam, but uh, the southern part had not really supported the fighting by the north, the Viet Minh, and they did not feel comfortable accepting communism under Ho Chi Minh. So uh, the nation is split, and there's a new belief system called the domino theory. As you can see here, the idea was that if Vietnam fell to communism, so would Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Burma, India, and one after another, okay? And <clears throat> the interesting thing about that theory is it kind of happened. Uh, Laos and Cambodia eventually fell to communism under different governments, but Thailand has never been occupied by a foreign power in its history. So uh, there was a limit to the domino theory as to how many countries would fall. All right, so with Vietnam now separated, a lot of turmoil, the South Vietnamese Army, which was called the Arvin, the Army of the Republic of Vietnam, uh, they have very little experience. Most of them uh, are recruits or draftees. Uh, they lived, uh, most of the large cities were in South Vietnam. Uh, there's only a few in North Vietnam, and they just did not have the military experience. Very few of them had fought against the French. So American military advisors are brought in to help uh, support the South Vietnamese Army because now North Vietnam has a rebel group forming called the Viet Cong or the VC. They will start infiltrating the South beginning in 1959 with the intent of uh, causing mayhem and overthrowing the South Vietnamese government, okay? So the money that is in, uh, introduced into the country by the Americans does boost the economy, but the mil military was never in good shape its entire history. So um, when Eisenhower leaves office, Kennedy inherits the Vietnamese situation. Now, he supports the South, uh, the independence of the South, but he does not get along with Diem. Uh, he feels that Diem has done very little to build uh, you know, morale in the country. He's not tried to win the hearts and minds. Um, JFK, uh, as you know, is Catholic, but so was Diem. Diem was also Catholic, though the nation of Vietnam, only about 5% of the population was, ca was Catholic, most of them were Buddhist. And uh, what Kennedy said is, you may not believe in their religion, but you need to court them because you know that the, you know, North Vietnamese are. And so <clears throat> the relationship is, is really rocky. Uh, also, the VC had set up, and I'm going to go back on a map here, a network of trails, and I've got a map later on in one of the notes, uh, called the Ho Chi Minh Trail. It's basically trails out of the north through Laos in Cambodia into South Vietnam, okay? And that Ho Chi Minh Trail was used for infiltration. 
All right, so uh, by 63, things were really, really getting bad. Uh, the radical Buddhists in South Vietnam were anti-DM. They were pro-communist, largely because of DM's behavior. And then in the summer of 1963, we have a series of Buddhist riots because of crackdowns and arrests, and we have the famous burning monk incident. And what that did, that man did is, as you know, they wear the orange uh, outfits. He sat down in the middle of a Saigon street, he poured the fuel on him, and he lit himself on fire in protest of DM. Okay. By the fall of 63, um, Diem really has very little support. Kennedy turns his back on him. The Arvin actually leads a coup, and the, the report is that they checked in with the Americans. They said, we're going to get rid of Diem. Will you stop us? And we were like, no, we're not. So uh, the Arvin leads a coup, and Diem is shot and killed, along with some of his advisors, on November 2nd. 20 days later, JFK himself is assassinated, and we have a new president Lyndon Johnson, okay? Johnson's different from the others. He uh, does not want to de-escalate the situation. He actually wants to escalate what's going on in Vietnam. Uh, he sends more and more advisors. And then the next year, in 1964, we have the famous Gulf of Tonkin incident. A group of North Vietnamese patrol boats attacked, and I say attacked in air quotes, because uh, there's some evidence that the second attack didn't happen. Uh, and the first attack may have been, you know, started by us. We have actually, we may have actually crossed into North Vietnamese territory. Either way, the report goes out that the North Vietnamese patrol boats have attacked our destroyers. So Congress uh, allows Johnson to bomb uh, North Vietnamese facilities. And then a few days after that, they pass the Tonkin Gulf Resolution, which gives the president extensive powers to make war against the North Vietnamese. Okay, so the Vietnam War will really begin after that happens. All right, your questions. Who were the Vietnamese fighting against after World War II? Uh, two, what was the domino theory? Three, what was the VC? Four, what was the Ho Chi Minh Trail? Five, what happened to Diem? Six, what was Johnson's stand on Vietnam? Seven, what happened at the Gulf of Tonkin? And eight, what was the Tonkin Gulf Resolution? Okay, and that's it for day six notes. And next will be day seven, covering what happens once we get into the war and how different a war it would be.